slow living is a way of incorporating really great positive changes into your life in a real natural um, non-rigid way and just taking it day by day so for me I try and live as much as possible in a super like organic natural lifestyle it's it's a it's a difficult turn to take but um, my husband and I decided that we were gonna do this together about four years ago and just incorporate clean healthy foods use non-toxic cleaning products for our home for our bodies um, things I put on my body I want to make sure are clean and natural and not gonna inhibit any healing that's taking place and so we made this choice because we knew that if I'm gonna try and heal naturally I needed to do it full circle in all aspects of life and um, there's so many things in our environment that we are surrounded by day to day that can really affect the healing process and my husband has been the best person support wise in helping me reach my goal for health and wellness and um he also just reminds me that it's for a good cause if i get defeated and there's been times where i've been kind of sad because you know you don't see progress day to day but um just you know remembering to look at the little changes that have happened and, and keeping the goal in sight has been really helpful Sweet Laurel was started out of my personal quest for wellness and health and healing through the food I was eating. I um, began working with a really incredible naturopathic doctor and she encouraged me to cut out some big inflammatory foods that were having a negative effect on my health. And when I took those foods out, I realized I needed to not only cook this way, but bake this way for you know special events or holidays and just like bring it into every aspect of my life. It became um, a really big factor in my day to day living, you know, like eating at restaurants became very much so like stressful and difficult and um, you know, having something like a birthday celebration was actually like a task because there were so many no-nos. So I started to um, create recipes for me and my husband, mainly like meals, you know, like dinner, breakfast, lunch. And then um, I started to do little baking extravaganzas for family events. and. Um, my friends and family were kind of like, is this like real? Like, what is this? Is this like they couldn't believe that the stuff I was baking was actually like per my dietary restrictions, which was like no grains, no refined sugar, no dairy. And, um, you know, I started to get a lot of like positive feedback about some things I was creating and I was approached by a really good friend um, to take it to the next level and share it with like the masses outside of my circle of family and friends and that's when I decided you know there's nothing like this on the market right now and we could start a little community in LA of um, people who you know want to have those celebrations and those beautiful events but maybe their dietary restrictions keep them from having cake and pie and ice cream and things like that. So we wanted to provide like a medium to make that happen. And we also wanted to start workshops and classes where people could come and learn how to do these special things on their own for their own families. And um, that's created this amazing community and people who I stay in touch with all the time who are healing through various things and um, are enjoying um, you know the recipes we've created and had beautiful little celebrations despite their illnesses and um, it's just been a really wonderful beautiful thing 
there are definitely days that are more challenging than others when I wake up and realize, oh my goodness, I own a bakery and I'm running this business that, you know, one day has this issue, the next day has another issue. And for me, it's been quite challenging just um, coming into this business as a school teacher, not having a ton of business background or any business background at all. And knowing that, you know, at the end of the day, everything's happening that's supposed to be happening. I can't be a control freak about everything. And just taking it in doses and knowing um, I have a team I can fall back on that's been incredible and they support me and, um, you know, we have a vision for where we want to see Sweet Laurel in the future and we're taking steps to make that happen. So yes, there are difficult times, but um, just keeping our vision in mind and knowing I have a support group has been really helpful. The thing that keeps me going with Sweet Laurel is knowing that it works and knowing that the changes I've made in my life have improved my health dramatically and helped me go off medications I was told I would need to be on the rest of my life and you know healed whole systems in my body that weren't fun functioning properly before and so just knowing that this is a movement a diet if you want to call it a lifestyle change that actually has results it keeps me so inspired and when i meet um people who are going through similar things and i share my story it inspires them to pursue healing naturally and not give up on you know the healing process and trusting it and knowing you know slow slow moving like positive steps in the right direction will produce results eventually for sweet laurel the vision and goal we have and the reason we are here in this community and on this earth is we are trying to share health and wellness with, with as many people as possible in like a beautiful loving way that people can relate to and they want to be a part of and um like with every cake we sell and every you know blog post we write we want people to see that health and making small changes in your life can be like a beautiful satisfying thing you don't have to be deprived of you know your donut every now and then you can enjoy a donut and know that you're still taking steps in the right direction and um there's you know a community of people out there who are healing the same way and um we want sweet laurel to provide like that network and that community for others for people who may not be diagnosed with an issue or don't have anything they know about going on with their body it's it's always a good idea to just take care of the body you have in the best possible way and know that feel, filling your body with good positive things is always gonna be a good thing and trying to know that there's um there's a reason to keep your body up to snuff and healthy um you know it'll launch you into your older years and keep you strong and um so even if there are people out there who don't necessarily have like a condition right now and they're in their 30s and loving life you know it's always it's never too late to like start just pursuing a path of wellness and taking small steps each day and for my entrepreneur friends out there who are looking to start their own business, I would say that most definitely you need to have a good set of goals and a team, whether that's one person who knows your goals and is willing to encourage you or a handful of people who will support you along the way and um, people you can go to if you are a little defeated and you need some encouragement.